Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at an exponential equation. We have 10 to the power log x squared plus x to the power log x equals 20. This kind of looks like a very non-standard problem because the bases are different, the exponents are different, and how are these two functions related, right? We should be able to kind of combine them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of these two functions, and then we'll talk about it. So here's the graph of these two functions. Uh-oh, what is that supposed to mean? So let me go ahead and explain what this all means. Now we have two functions here, 10 to the power log x squared and x to the power log x. And their sum is 20. Normally, you wouldn't be able to solve this problem because these two expressions are very different, maybe, right? The bases are different, so on and so forth. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to re relate them uh, using either substitution or something else. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the substitution method first, and then I'll show you a property that's very helpful. So let's go ahead and call log x something. How about setting log x equal to y. Now this gives us 10 to the power y squared plus. Now what is, what's going to happen to x? If log x is equal to y, by definition, remember, uh, this means base 10. Did I say that at the beginning? Maybe I did forget. But log x is basically in base 10. And then you can use the rule 10 to the power y equals x, or x equals 10 to the power y. So this x needs to be replaced with 10 to the power y. And then, of course, I need to raise it to the power log x, but log x is just y. So, and you're like, why is this happening? 10 to the power y squared plus, now you multiply these exponents, don't you? y times y is y squared. That's going to give you another 10 to the y squared. And this is kind of interesting, don't you think? Okay, I'll explain a little bit what that means, but hopefully you already got it. Now, notice that these two things are equal. So, I can just write this as 2 times 10 to the power y squared equals 20, and then dividing both sides by 2 yields 10 to the power y squared equals 10. And from here, we get two solutions. What are they? y squared is equal to 1, and that means y is equal to 1 or y is equal to negative 1. In other words, there are two numbers whose square equals 1, 1 and negative 1. Of course, we're kind of talking about the real world, but even in the complex world, that's the case, except for, you know, adding multiples of 2 pi and so on and so forth. Now, we've got these two solutions, but what is y? What is uh, the relationship, right? Well, x is equal to 10 to the power y, so from here we can find the x values. x is going to be 10 to the power 1, or x equals 10 to the power negative 1, which can be written as 1 over 10. So it looks like there are two solutions, one of them is 10, the other one is 1 over 10, and that's it, right? So let's go ahead and go back a little bit and kind of explain what is going on with the graph. These two expressions actually are identical. That's why when I graphed them, I kind of had to use a dotted line or dashed line for one of them so that you can see both colors. Otherwise, they're just going to overlap. Depending on which one you do first, the other one is going to be overridden. Anyways. So these two expressions are equal, which is not very easy to, to see right away. But if you do a little bit of manipulation, you realize they're the same. Now, let's go ahead and uh, approach this expression from a different angle. So we have 10 to the power log x squared and x to the power log x. Now, I want to show that these two exp expressions are actually equal. How could I do that differently? So here's what I can do, a property that is very helpful. If you have a to the power log b with base a, then this is equal to b. Make sense? In other words, these two bases cancel out. They're both bases, right? Uh, why does this happen? Because what you can do is you can go ahead and set this equal to x, and then log both sides, base a, and then this is going to become that, and this is going to be log x with base a. Now, obviously, you could move this to the front. That would give you log b with base a times log a with base a, which is 1. So you can cancel it out. Equals log a with base, log x with base a, right? So what does that tell you? Oh, I, by the way, I made a mistake here. This is supposed to be log 
uh, b with base a. And now notice that these two expressions are equal, right? So from here we can safely say that x is the same thing as b, but we called it x, now you can call it b. Make sense? So that's a really nice property and we're going to use that here. But how do you use it? That's the million dollar question. So let me rewrite my expression. Don't hesitate to write things down over and over because that's going to help you see things. And it'll be a good practice. It'll help you remember some formulas and identities and properties and so on and so forth. Anyways, so to be able to use that property, and obviously in the special case, a to the power log b with base a, notice that these a's are the same. What happens if the base is 10? Then you're going to get something like this. But we don't always write base 10, so we might as well just write it as 10 to the power log b, which is b. So log and 10 will cancel out. Make sense? So now we're going to be ready to apply this property. We can write this as 10 to the power log x to the power log x because log x squared is just log x times log x, right? Isn't it? And then we're going to use our super duper magical formula. What is 10 to the power log x? It's equal to x. So this becomes x to the power log x plus x to the power log x is equal to 20. If Since you have the same thing twice, that's going to give you x to the power log x equals half of 20, which is 10. Now at this point, again, you have a couple different options. How do you solve this problem? You can use substitution if you want. You can set log x equal to t, and then from here x becomes 10 to the t, and 10 to the t to the t becomes 10, and 10 to the t squared equals 10 to the first, and t squared equals 1, and t equals one uh, plus minus 1, and then you can go to this to find x. Or you can just, I think the second method for this one is easier. You just log both sides and you're pretty much done. Because then you can bring this to the front, right? That would give you log x times log x equals log 10, which is 1, by the way, because 10 to the power, what number equals 10? The answer is 1. And from here we get log x squared equals 1. And this means log x is 1 or log x is negative 1, which means, again, x equals 10 or 1 over 10, 10 to the power negative 1. As you see, there are so many ways to get the answer. Whichever one you like the best, uh, you can go ahead and choose. All right? So that's pretty much uh, what this video is all about. And, you know, just make sure you know these properties. Again, our famous the property of the day is if you have a to the power log b with base a, then the a's cancel out and you end up with b, to be or not to be. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.